what is up guys? Good morning, it's another day here in Oberon. So today we are going to the Janolan Caves just to explore and see the vastness of the cave itself. So there are a lot of caves here in the Janolan, um, but what we're going to is the Orion Caves because first of all, it's just an hour and a half walk. Second is that it's just pretty easy as well for a little young one right there. And third, um, well, apparently it's touted as having the most wonderful crystals inside of this cave. So join us as we explore and see the majestic of these caves in Janolan. <laughs> What is up guys? We are now here at Janolan Caves. We've just arrived and we are gonna take you to a tour in one of their caves, uh, which is the Orient Cave. Now, I'm gonna try and travel light, so I'm not gonna bring this camera with me. Instead, I am going to bring with me uh, my two cameras, the Insta360 and the Osmo Pocket 2. So, later on, just join us on a trip and enjoy. So the only caveat here when you're bringing, oh, sorry. Um, by the way, that's the Insta360 on my head. It's attached to my, well, to my cap. Anyway, the only caveat here when going on a tour in the Janolan Caves is actually when you have a young one with you. Unfortunately, they can't bring your kids in the bus because they don't have a child seat. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to, well, take a small 10 minute walk to the reception and then later on, onto the cave tour itself. Just a touch of history with regards to the Janolan Caves. So way, way back then, Aboriginals actually see this these places as what you call dark places because literally it is pitch black when you come into these caves. There is no source of light and even if you lit a match, it would barely even lit the slightest of places. Now basically, the first European recorded discovery of these caves was around 1838 by a local pastoralist named James Whalen. But according to legend, Whalen was actually not the very first European to set foot on these caves. Actually, the honor goes to Mr. James McCune, um, an ex-convict who managed to just run by these caves and made it to his own hideout. Quite interesting. Okay, just in case you're wondering, this area is not available due to COVID. Now, originally there are a lot of cave tours uh, that are available to the public, but at this time, there's only three caves available due to various amounts of flooding in the other said caves. Now, the available caves at the moment is the Temple of Baal Cave, the Orion Cave, and the Chifley Cave. Okay, so where we are right now is in the Orion Cave, which is well known for its vast, richly decorated chambers. So 
so we survive the one and a half hour trip with our little bubby who is quite hungry are you hungry darling me milk bye bye, bye. bye. So we have just survived an hour and a half hour trip down to the Janolan Caves. Now just a few pointers for everyone who's planning to go up here, um, okay actually planning to go down here. Now the thing is if you have a kid with you and you're planning to bring them here in the Janolan Caves, sorry the light's affecting me so much, yeah if you're planning to bring someone here to the Janolan Caves you better be ready because first and foremost the bus here don't have any child seats so you, you're gonna have to take a 10 minute to 20 minutes trip down here and let me tell you it's not quite easy if you're not athletically um, <laughs> athletically endowed um, so if you have a kid with you even less than two years old or someone or or someone who you actually need to carry around most of the time then I'd suggest you limber up first because going down is not that hard but going up is the challenge all right so anyway that's just about it for us thank you very much guys for tuning in if you like this video click the like button subscribe and also hit the bell icon for any more notifications until then we'll see you next time